<laughs> he was not great a talker till he met Gorgeous George in Las Vegas. I saw a wrestler of once named Gorgeous George, and the place was jam-packed with people. Cars was lined up for miles. They hated Gorgeous George. They wanted him to be, but they paid $100 for a ringside seat. So Gorgeous George walked out with his pretty silver hair, and he was walking so proud, and people was woo, throwing popcorn at him. He said, ah, you bums. Ah, he was hollering at the, at the uh, fans. Ah, oh, I don't care nothing about you. And, like, I can't lose. If I lose, I'll cut all my blonde locks in the ring. Look at my beautiful blonde hair. If he mess up this hair, I'll kill him. I'll annihilate the bum. But I can't lose. I'm the greatest. So I, I got this from Gorgeous George. I said, ooh, this is a good idea. Look, he's getting rich. So I start talking. I am the greatest. I cannot be beat. I'm too pretty to be a fighter. What he's doing is he's taking the American culture, what's in the air at the time, and he invents something called Cassius Clay, the greatest. It's a self-creation.